Hey, what's up, guys? Mike Patrick. And in this video, I want to talk about hemoglobin. I want to talk about iron. Okay, I want to talk about chlorophyll, and I want to talk about magnesium and the way that they they interact and the way that they play a very very fundamental and important role in our health, especially during this particular time with this COVID-19 thing that's going on, and um, and the fact that. It it, play, uh, it it deals with the oxygen in the body and restricting the oxygen in the body, okay? Now, guys, so basically, guys, okay, hemoglobin, okay, is to us what, what chlorophyll is to a plant, okay, to reiterate that, all right? And the thing is, guys, they're structured pretty much the same. The only difference is, is that Hemoglobin is centered, okay, around iron, okay, and chlorophyll is centered around magnesium, okay, but they're pretty much the same, um, chemo they have the same chemical structure, okay, and so the thing is, they feed off each other, they, they help each other because each other they're very similar, okay, guys, and the thing is, we know what, hemoglobin is responsible for transporting oxygen all throughout the body right hemoglobin is responsible for transporting oxygen all throughout the body okay guys and we know what chlorophyll does what chlorophyll oxygenates our blood okay so it helps hemoglobin do its job okay and because it oxygenates the blood all right and then the hemoglobin uh you know filters and carry the the blood all throughout the body okay so we can stay um, pretty much they circulated and, 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 and alkaline and oxygenated all right and so and just keeping us functioning you know at the highest level okay of our capacity now the thing is with COVID-19 okay um, there's a couple things that they are realizing about COVID-19 and that is okay one right people are having breathing issues so they're saying that um they, the first thing they were saying is that uh, fluid pretty much uh, floods the, the lungs, okay? Therefore, oxygen can't be dispersed throughout the lungs and throughout the body, rendering people unable to, to breathe well, okay? And the thing is, so another thing that they're realizing is um, that the virus attacks the hemoglobin, okay? And it doesn't allow the hemoglobin to do its job effectively, effectively of transporting, okay, oxygen throughout the body, okay? So, it pretty much, it, it attacks the blood, I mean, the red blood cell, all right, guys? So, the thing is, though, right, you want to always give your, your body and your immune system and your cells the firepower that it needs, okay, in order for for you to remain healthy or get healthy okay and so therefore I just wanted to make that correlation between magnesium okay and iron okay chlorophyll okay the blood of the plant and then hemoglobin okay it, um, that deals with that's in our blood okay and excuse me um and also guys um let me see what else I wanted to say about it. So basically, how do we get this magnesium in our blood, okay? We need to, what, eat plenty of, a good source or a great source of magnesium is high chlorophyll foods, okay? Chlorophyll-rich foods, so green leafy vegetables, okay? So this is, I guess this is another angle, you know, that I'm coming at why you should eat um, you know more fruits and vegetables and, and green leafy foods okay um, the magnesium content and the relationship between that magnesium and your blood okay and you stand oxygenated and alkaline okay and um and keeping your blood clean okay and detoxifying all right um and so also guys there's a correlation okay so look this is the thing right so Hemoglobin is basically, let's just say our blood, red blood cells, our blood, our blood, right? Um, then you have chlorophyll, which is the blood of a, um, of a plant, right? And then, okay, you have carbon, okay? 
you have carbon, carbon beans, okay? We are carbon beans, okay? Melanin, carbon, whatever you choose to call it, okay? So the thing of it, guys, when it comes to your blood, when it comes to chlorophyll, when it comes to carbon and melanin, it's all about being able to be conductive, okay? And being able to absorb energy, okay? In order to be able to live. Now they do it on different levels. What the, the life is in the blood, okay? And so your blood, that's why we always want our blood to be alkaline because when something is alkaline, it's more electrically conductive, okay? When something is acidic and, 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 and gooky and it's a lot of buildup, it's almost like an insulator, okay? And, and the energy is not able to flow. Um, that's why we you know we've talked about things like earthing like getting your, your um, getting out these rubber shoes for at least maybe 30 minutes or so of a day and just allowing the um, the negative ions to be able to flow you know through your feet and through your body okay and that helps you stay alkaline and it, and it helps the uh, the blood cells from from sticking together and clumping up okay so it keeps our blood you know thin and conductive okay and and circulating and flowing properly okay um so but but it, it all has to do that has to do with conductivity to a certain degree okay and being able to receive okay and, and um to to um, um transmit and emit okay and um and so the same thing when it comes to um your carbon okay guys your carbon is photovoltaic okay it's photovoltaic you can look it up and you know they're doing studies with solar cells and things of this nature um to see basically and they know that you know um carbon is able to uh directly capture energy from from sunlight okay and so it's a conductivity thing all right so the more like we know that the more melanin you have the more you are able to tolerate sunlight and the more sunlight that you need okay in order to be able to to conduct um your, your energy and and uh and to be able to uh to have a, a a relationship or to be able to perceive the full spectrum of the electromagnetic field okay guys um it's just it's just more of a of a uh it's, it's a power source so to speak okay um, and so the more that you have and if it's functioning and clean and if you're um, doing the right things, eating the right things, okay, um, breathing properly, okay, doing some of the things that we're talking about right now in this video and taking the right foods, getting your blood right, okay, taking in foods with magnesium so all these things can play off of each other, okay. It's like a trifecta, okay, your magnesium, you know, your, your, um, your iron in your blood, okay and then your um excuse me and then your carbon okay and um and then you know the thing is um we know chlorophyll is from a plant you know what i mean it's, it's, it's from green leafy vegetables okay and then we know what uh vegetables and plants come from what what's the what's the basis of a plant is sunlight right getting this sunlight so it's the same thing when you you can be um photovoltaic you are photovoltaic when the sunlight hits our skin the one thing that we all know that's common is the sunlight hit our skin and we do what the cholesterol um is chemical reactions that happen where um the cholesterol in our body and when the sunlight hits our skin it makes what vitamin d okay and this is what we do know for sh for sure already, okay? But I'm sure there's other, like I said, metal metabolic processes that happens, okay? So it all corresponds, guys. And so you want to have your blood right, okay? And how you do that is keeping it clean, keeping it nourished with the green leafy vegetables, getting the, the, the vitamins and minerals that you need to stay conductive, okay? Hence magnesium, hence iron, okay? And, um, and keeping that blood alkaline and clean, okay? So you can be able to observe, okay, the full electromagnetic spectrum, okay, guys? Um, and like I said, that's very big when it comes to this COVID thing because uh, with the COVID, if, if I haven't said this already, apologize if I did, but I'll make it quick one way or another. They say it attacks the lungs, okay? Um, well, it doesn't attack the lungs, but it, uh, it builds fluid in the lungs, which makes it, 
you know, pretty much, it, it, it's drowning your lungs out. You can't, the oxygen cannot filter. It's just like you being drowned out, okay? You got too much fluid, too much water in your lungs, you're gonna drown, right? All right, and, um, and so and then another thing is, we know that they say that it attacks the hemoglobin. And so if they attacks the hemoglobin, the hemoglobin can't transport oxygen throughout the body. Therefore, you're pretty much suffocating that way. Okay, guys, so that's the importance of magnesium. I hope I tied it all, to, tied, tied it all in together, you know, in, um, in a pretty good manner. Okay, guys, without taking too much time. Hopefully this was helpful. Peace.